The educated religious people will go to hell like a bullet in Luke chapter 6 or Matthew chapter 5, 6, and 7. And the way to do this is simple. These are two sermons on the mounts. Now, there are two different times. One of them is recorded in Matthew chapter 5, 6, and 7. One recorded in Luke chapter 6. But in both these sermons on the mounts, the thing you have to notice, the educated people always ignore, is this is a Jewish Messiah talking to Jews under the law. And so they go right there just as soon as they pick up their Bible, because under the law you can get saved by works, or works are found in your salvation, which is apparent by the content. All you're getting here in Luke chapter 6 and Matthew chapter uh, Sermon on the Mount is what to do to get righteous. Both, both sermons. And not a single one of them is given as Pauline doctrine after the birth of the death of Christ and his resurrection. He never refers to either one of them. Yet you're told about the, you to believe what Christ said, you're to follow what he said, but you can't follow what is found in the Sermon on the Mount in the church age. You can't do it, and nobody does it, and you don't know anybody who ever did. Do you know of anybody who, when they were taken to uh, court, uh, gave in and let the person have it free and then gave them twice as much as they had before? Do you know anybody lately who was uh, smacked in one cheek and turned the other to get smacked? Now, that's the kind of mess you get into. Do you find anybody there who said, if you keep those Ten Commandments, you're going to be great, and if you don't keep them, well, then you're not going to go anywhere, and you never met anybody who kept all ten of them in your life? The entire content of the Sermon on the Mount in both of these sermons, Luke chapter 6 and beginning in Matthew 5, are given to Jews under the law before the crucifixion and before Christ died for anybody. He hasn't borne anybody's sins yet at all and died for them. He hasn't even died yet. The new, the new covenant is not even in effect. And where you're reading right now, it's not even been instituted. The New Testament, the new covenant is instituted at the Lord's Supper with the statement that it is not in effect until the testator is dead. The testator is not dead here, and he's not taking what he's taking here and giving it to you as a plan of salvation like you find in the Pauline epistles. In the Pauline epistles, after the crucifixion, after the resurrection, and after the conversion of Paul, then you're told Christ died for your sins according to the Scriptures and was buried and rose again the third day from the dead. And it became sin for us who knew no sin that we might be made the righteous of God in him. And that is not in the Sermon on the Mount neither in Luke chapter 6 or Matthew chapter 5. So the unsaved self-righteous people always go right there.